Yo guys, welcome back to being Future Billion Stars video, and I am super excited to play one of the hottest stage two decks you can play right now, and that is Single Strike Cinderace. Single Strike Cinderace got way better with Brilliant Stars, and I was waiting for Brilliant Stars to come out to make another video on this card because it got so many new tools, quite literally, with Brilliant Stars. Of course, the big one is Magma Basin, which allows you to put a Fire Energy uh, from your discard to one of your bench Fire Pokemon, so it gives your Cinderace energy acceleration. And on top of that, we get Choice Belt, which allows you to do 30 more damage. If you don't know what Single Strike Cinderace does, it has the ability Crisis Power. This Pokemon Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize your opponent's taken. And it does 150 base, which is honestly really good. I mean, they take one prize, you're doing 180. Two prizes, 210. Three, 240. Four, 270. Five, 300 damage. When you combine that with Choice Belt and Single Strike Energy, you're hitting one shots on a lot of VMAXs and V-Stars very, very quickly. This is a lot of fun to play. Again, I think it's the hottest stage 2 deck you can play right now. So yeah, before we get the video, of course, show 2, the sponsor card having TCG, as always, guys. If you're ever looking to get any PDCGO pack codes, make sure to get your codes over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern is selling codes online for the cheapest. So if you're looking to get any set codes like Brilliant Stars, the main set, or older sets like Fusion Strike or Evolving Skies or Killing Rain or Battle Styles. Get them all over at Card Cavern. Or if you're looking for any other specific PDCGO code, like a GX or V code or whatever, get them over there. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern, check them out. And as always, use code LDF. So here's the list that I got for my Single Strike Cinderace list. I really like the deck. I am playing a cheeky 1-1 one -one Houndoom. Um, Single Strike Energy still plays a big role in this deck, especially when you want to get those one-shots with Cinderace on like V Pokemon. Um, sometimes you go like choice belt plus single strike energy for like 230 if they take a knockout on an early cinderace or something so it's just i like having the extra energy excel with houndoom i think single strike energy is still really important in here i'm only playing seven energy in total i'm not playing a whole lot of energy mainly because we got double rod we got three base and we got houndoom plus urn i'm not too concerned about it though i wouldn't mind maybe playing more energy the other card i wouldn't mind playing in here is moltres but i couldn't find room for moltres but i definitely would not hate having a moltres in the deck as a backup attacker definitely something you could also play in this deck which is definitely you know something that i would probably consider if you can fit it in I am playing Babarel as my draw engine over in Talion or Sinchino. I think Babarel complements this really well, you know, frees up a lot of deck space and it's a pretty consistent card in this type of deck. Now, I am playing a split of Reboots. The main reason why I'm playing the Single Strike Reboot is mainly for the fact that it's a Single Strike Pokemon, meaning that if you have an energy in your hand, like a Single Strike energy to attach to a Reboot, you can play it. That's why I am playing a split of the Reboot. But I am playing this Reboot with Flame Charge, especially if your opponent doesn't have anything. You can hit it for 20, like an extra energy on your Cinderace for next turn if you know you're safe. Gotta play Manaphy for Urshifu. I am playing Snorlax. I don't really like playing Snorlax anymore because it's, it's not very good. I feel like Marnie's too prevalent. Also, Snorlax, you gotta play Net or Bird Keeper. That I'm not a fan of Snorlax in general anymore. But I think it is worth it to play in this deck, mainly because you don't mind giving up that extra prize early on because you're just going to power up Cinderace. So if you're going to go Gourmandize to kind of build yourself up, you don't mind if your Cinderace gets KO'd or something, or your Snorlax gets KO'd, because it just means more damage for Cinderace. So it's not a big deal, because honestly, attacking with Cinderace doing 150 is not very good. You kind of want to wait a little bit longer. Um, unless you can pull up a six a six Cinderace in one game, which is not hard to do, but it can be. Um, so that's why I like the Snorlax. Just you don't mind it getting KO'd, and it sets you up, which is good. Even though I'm not a fan of playing Snorlax anymore, it's, I think it's worth it in this type of a deck. Now, the supporter count, I think, is fine. I mean, we've got Marnie, Research, Raihan. I am playing Cynthia's Ambition, another pretty good upgrade. His deck Cynthia is obviously good in two prize decks, or single prize decks. And then Bruno is really nice to have too, just because shuffle your hand and draw seven is still powerful. Plus, shuffle draw four of the barrel is never bad either, so it's not a bad card to play. I am, of course, got the one net for the Snorlax, and that is it for the list. Let's try it out and see an action on PC Joe. All right, going first here with Single Strike Cinderace, which is good. Hopefully, that means we get a good opening hand here. We do. Wow, this hand is not bad. We got a Snorlax star. We got Bidoof, the barrel. We got an Ultra Ball for a Score Bunny if we want. They are mulliganing too, which will give us more to work with. All right, what are we playing against? Charizard V Star. All right, bring it on. Looks like our Basin is going to be able to stick, or at the very least, we won't need Basin in play. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, this matchup should be very solid, especially when Cinderace can hit those high numbers. Let's see what this Mulligan gives us. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, not the best Mulligan, I'll admit. Could have been better, for sure. We'll do this, and then grab a Score Bunny. Yeah, that was not the greatest cards we could have gotten, but not the end of the world. I can always rod Cinderace back if I really wanted to. And we'll just do... I'll just do Gormandize. I'm not going to bother with the Raw just yet. I'm going to save it just in case. Okay. Because we have Cynthia, right? So, like, even if my opponent, like, knocks me out, I don't think they'll kill me this turn. They did open up with Entei, so it's unlikely the Entei's going to knock me out. Because on the bench, on the other hand, I would have been a little bit more scared. But, I mean, if they blow me up here, you know, whatever. I think that's fine. Um, I do need to get down a potential... Um, 
get a Hound Hour in play, that extra damage might come in handy. There's another Charizard. They got a three card hand. They have a Judge. Ooh, okay. Wow, that's a pretty disruptive card. But thankfully, Snorlax won't get KO'd this turn, so that's all good. The Judge still gave me some playable cards. As long as I get another Score Bunny down, that's all I care about. I don't want to get bodied by a boss and then kind of just put out a commission. That would be pretty annoying. I don't know. I really wanted a boss there, but I can't afford to lose two boss. And all right, there we go. That was a pretty good Marnie or a pretty good Snorlax, but we didn't get another. Uh, we didn't get an energy, so actually it wasn't that good. I might have over -thunk that. I didn't get much off of that. We might get judged again. You never know. Hopefully we don't get knocked out here. I mean, they're doing 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. They bench one more Pokemon. They can kill my Snorlax. Yeah, that the Gormandize was OK, but we need a little bit more to work with here to make it better. So hopefully we can survive the turn. Either that or we get a supporter or like an energy top deck or something. That would be the only thing that can potentially save us. I'm hoping Snorlax lives. We'll see. They got a three card hand. Do they have anything? No. Damn it. No. My Snorlax is dead. Not good. Because we are kind of in top deck mode here. They got a Vulpix. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Oh, what? They actually had another judge to go with it? Yo, back to back judges? What? Okay. Thankfully, we actually still got judged into a pretty strong hand. Mm, yeah, no, that's pretty good. As long as we can find rare candy, this hand's pretty decent. All right, that's annoying they got the judge there, but not the big deal. The Snorlax did what it needed to do. It set us up a little bit, which is all that matters. It's good. Got us got us set up a little bit. Mm, thankfully, their judge didn't body me. All right, we'll barrel for two rare candy, rare candy. Let's go. All right, let's go. We're in classes in session. So we're only doing 180 here, so we're not going to KO them. That's fine, though. So, Bruno. Did we get off this Bruno? No. And we whiff the energy. Okay, wow, that is super tragic. Ah. No energy, that is pretty bad. Especially if they KO my Cinderace with a boss here. Damn it. You hate to see it. Hopefully they don't have a boss. If they don't have a boss, then we'll be okay. Because then, actually, now we can potentially KO Entei if we get a choice spell. Well, even if they do boss me, I can still go with another Cinderace. Okay, no boss. Nice. All right, cool. That's fine by me. As long as they don't boss my, my bunnies here, we're chilling. What does Ninetales do? Obviously, they're not playing the Ninetales from friggin' Team Up. That rotated a long time ago. Which would be pretty funny if they had that. We ain't playing Expanded, though. So, I think there's a Ninetales that makes your Pokemon have retreat or something. I don't even know. All right. Bidoof will probably die, unless they have an escape rope, which would be actually pretty annoying, because our hand is pretty good. But I don't think they're going to rope me here. Hopefully not, anyways. Now, Charizard is pretty easy to KO. It's going to go probably down to, like, 240 HP, potentially, which makes it easy. I'm really hoping we do not get Marnied here. I do really like this hand. I'm really hoping we don't get Judged or Marnied again. Yeah, Nine Tails. Retreat cost feature Pokemon in play. The fire's retreat less two. Interesting. Okay. We are... Officially vibing. Hopefully we don't have an energy. We are drawing a lot of cards here. This is a pretty good turn to draw cards, if I do say so myself. You know what I'm saying? Right, we'll get back these two. I have to air balloon one of those things. And then we'll Cynthia for six. Okay, thankfully we got the energy. I was honestly kind of worried we wouldn't. So we don't have a knockout. We did whip the choice belt, and I can't do but barrel. So we're not actually one-shotting Entei here. We're doing 210 damage. So Entei will survive. That's fine, though. I could sacrifice Bidoof again, and then if they have a boss, because then I can go... Cause, okay, here's the thing. If I got knock out with Bidoof here, then my opponent might not be able... I don't know, because if I go not... If I let them kill Bidoof, right, then Cinderace finally one-shots Entei, and then we're getting close to killing the Charizard, too. They don't have a boss. They did play a Kindler, though. So I think we have to go... I think we have to go into Cinderace here. We're going to just do it anyways. It's fine. Well, now they can't base into Entei again, which I don't think matters. That's unfortunate, but... At least we finally start attacking. I don't mind this late-game attack, because, I mean... Better to attack in the late-game Cinderace anyways, so it's not a big deal. Okay, they knock me out. We're going to do 240. If I still get a Choice Spell... Or... Single, single Strike Energy, I can actually kill this Charizard. That's what we're going to try to go for here. We're probably going to have to lose another rare candy. That's fine. If we can KO this Charizard. I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. Um, all we have to do is take three knockouts, which... I guess we just have to not whiff a knockout every turn to win, potentially. 
which is fine. I don't know. Part of me did, did kind of want to risk the Bidoof getting KO'd there, in all honesty. But I don't know. Like, I can't risk a boss for my opponent. I, I can't. I can't risk the boss here. So, had to go for it. But yeah, now they can't base an Entei again. So, they just put themselves in a position where this Entei can no longer attack <laughs> with Basin in play. I mean, I would like it if they would base into it by accident. So, I can, you know, get a you know a couple of free prizes. But that will happen. So, I can knock him out. So, they knock me out. We're going to be doing 240 damage. So if I can get Choice Belt or Single Strike Energy, I can one-shot their Charizard. Unless they have a big charm. And okay, they actually didn't have a boss there. So maybe it was better to go Bidoof then. Because they actually did not have a boss. But if I go Bidoof, then we do kind of get bodied by... I don't know. It's just too risky to risk the boss there. I feel like we just went for it and whatever. Because they played a Kindler. They had a Barrel in play. You know, the chances they did have a boss were not very very like low like they probably would have had one so yeah it's fine all we gotta do is just get choice belt or single strike energy and we should be able to win this we can probably knock anything out no we had to draw rare candy bro Ooh, that's not good that's not a good top deck thanks we have one rare candy left which actually should be enough to win then to be honest i guess it doesn't really matter then because we still have another rare candy in the deck all right we'll research we need to find choice belt or Single strike energy, we do get there. Nice. I might get rid of the urn, to be honest. I don't know if we really need the urn, because they knock me out. Okay, so we're doing 240 damage right now with Cinderace. 260 with the single strike energy. They knock me out again, we're doing 270. If anything, it's one shot. I probably could get rid of this urn of vitality. I might keep the scoop up net around. We have the other rare candy we do. Okay, we should be fine then. I'm going to keep the other scoop up net around just in case the barrel gets like stuck in the active or something. You never know. Um, Do that. Sure. Base into that. The barrel for some cards. Okay, nice. We'll quick ball be doof away to thin. I mean, I guess we'll grab Hound Hour. I guess it doesn't really matter if we get it or not. I feel like it's fine. The barrel again. Draw some more cards here. Okay. And then we'll just take a knockout. 260 damage. Boom! Get slain, Charizard. All right, let's see what our prizes are here. We got Quick Ball's good. Because we need to make sure we're playing our hand down. Raihan is... Okay, Raihan's actually perfect. Because now we can just guarantee the Cinderace number three. We should win. As long as my opponent just cannot survive an attack, we should have game no matter what. Houndoom's good insurance, too. Because it does mean that even if they played a Tool Scrapper, we're fine. That's why I didn't overattach the Choice Belts. Because there's a world where they play Tool Scrapper, which could mess me up, potentially. But yeah, no, we should be able to win this. Actually, promote the Entei is heavily damaged. We can't attack next turn, but I have an Air Balloon on. I can just go to the Cinderace. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, we should be fine. Assuming we don't get judged again, we have Raihan to find the Rare Candy Cinderace. So I think we're on track to winning this game, y'all. 260 HP Pokemon are not a problem for Single Strike Cinderace. This is how the boat floats. They are not a problem. They do play a rope. Okay, that's actually perfect. Might as well just give them the Hound Hour, to be honest. I don't really care if Hound Doom doesn't go and play at this point. We're down in urn. We have one energy left. No big deal. It actually kind of works out. They don't have a boss. We're chilling. Yeah, no boss. Nice. So Cinderace does this thing again. Yeah, let's get it. We can bring in the balloon one too. And we can get the third Cindy. Oh, well, never mind. We don't even need Ryan. Look at that. The game decides to just flat out give me the rare candy top deck. How generous of TCGO is to give me the rare candy. I don't even have thought Ryan. I mean, I only had, what, 11, 12 cards left? Whatever. Would have been odd. Not get it, but we got him. Yeah, this should basically be the end of the game. We can one-shot anything they bring in. That's the insane thing about Cinderace. His damage just racks up so quickly. Fireball shot for 290 damage on that Charizard V-Star. And I'm pretty sure my opponent's got nothing they can go into here that can survive an attack. All I need now is to find my last boss. Okay, I should have Marnie then, actually. I should have I should have Marnie to dig for my last boss. Or, you know, I should have went Raihan regardless just to get the boss out of the deck. Okay, I kind of... I mean, I don't think that really matters. We, there's no way we're losing when we have three centuries in play, but I definitely misplayed there by not grabbing another boss. I should have went for the boss for next turn. I kind of forgot. I forgot we could do that. All right, there's a research game played. My opponent loses some more stuff. It is nice that we never had to worry about finding Basin in this match. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. I should have gotten boss, but I don't think it's going to matter too much because, like, I don't even know if my opponent's going to attack me this turn. Ooh, wow. That's annoying, but not a big deal anyways. Because I still have a one retreat cost. Cinderace can still just retreat into the other Cinderace and... Whoop, bonk him on the head. Cool Jammer sucks, but not a big deal. When Balloon 
doesn't matter. We obviously one-shot them. We're doing 270 damage right now with Cinderaces on the bench. Another Ultra Ball getting played. My opponent's only got eight cards, too. We both have the same amount of cards left in the deck. At one of this point, one of us are, one of us are gonna deck out. The Judges are kind of spicy, I'm not gonna lie. Judge can be more disruptive than Marnie because it shuffles your deck, not going to the bottom of the deck. Marnie can be annoying, though, because if you have good cards that go to the bottom of the deck and you don't get any shuffle cards, Marnie is kind of toxic. But Judge can be annoying, too, because you just get a random new hand instead of just, like, get whatever your next four or five cards would be, so. I don't know, man. But yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think they can do much here. They can go into nine tails. They have to go into a single prizer. Oh, okay, never mind. They are going to KO me. Well, that's not the end of the world, because Cinderace can come in and body the Entei. So no matter what, it is GG's. It is going to be GG's. I didn't really expect that E-Switch combo. I guess I should have, because I've already played one before. I like that combo. E-Switch? You know what? I rate the combo. It's actually kind of cool. Maybe I'll do a video on this Nine Tails. Nine Tails, E-Switch. You know, I, you know what? I, I respect my opponent's deck. I actually really like that idea of using E-Switch with Nine Tails and stuff. Kind of cool. Anyways, Fireball Shot for the knockout. 300 damage. Bye bye Ente. Would have been doing 330 thanks to Choice Belt if that Tool Jammer was not. But there we go. I wouldn't really call that a comeback game, but that was just one of those matches where, like, you just kind of do your thing. Thankfully, we were able to just have Snorlax set us up a little bit. We did get judged a few times, but thankfully, the judge didn't body us completely, and we were just in the driver's seat and we were vibing. All right, going first. That's cool, I guess. Hopefully, we get a good start. Might be against a Corviknight deck, so rip my opponent. <laughs> Let's start playing Cody Metal, but I don't think you'd ever play Cody Metal because Fire is barely even played right now. So I don't know. We'll see. How it goes. All right, Mulligan. Now we look at this Mulligan. We get a Score Bunny. Okay, actually, I really like this hand. I can get a Speedoof. Yeah, okay. As long as we don't get Marnied, I mean, I have a turn two Cinderace. If I can get an Energy, that'd be pretty good. No, Urshifu. Yeah, not the Bear. No Energy. So unfortunately, we won the attack. Thankfully, Manaphy is in the deck. That's all I really care about is a Manaphy's prize. No Energy though really sucks. It means I am going to be unable to attack next turn. Pretty unfortunate. My hand was balling. I got Barrel, Rare Candy, Cinderace, bro. Hmm. Okay, they're going to boss my Bidoof. Okay, that's fine. I actually don't mind that because they're not knocking me out. And they actually don't attack my Score Bunny, which might be relevant. There's a Scrapper getting discarded. That's an amazing discard. Lucario V-Star is barely a threat. Its V-Star power is the only good attack it has. But it's also very, very sturdy. It's only got 270 HP. Okay, we need to make sure we're getting down our good friend Manaphy here. So we don't get cheesed by a good old G-Max Rapperflow. And there's the main fee. All right, cool. Barrel. Grab mana fee. And get that down so we don't lose to a good old G-Max Rapid Flow. And then we'll Evo Incense for Cinderace. I could do but Barrel's ability. I feel like I don't want... I don't want to lose. Nah, well, what if we draw on playable cards? It's not going to happen. Yeah, it's fine. Not a bad hand at all. We'll take it. How am I going to go about this? I think I want to get another Bidoof down. I might ditch the Ultra Ball. Yeah, ditch Ultra Ball. Every card in my hand is pretty good, so I, might, I have to ditch Ultra Ball. I get another Bidoof and play. We'll play Basin, and then we'll, we'll bit Barrel here for three. What are we looking at, Bit Barrel? Good stuff. This one for a draw card or another... B Maybe I should have kept the Ultra Ball then, but I I don't know. Like I obviously want to use Basin, Rare Candy, Cinderace. Ultra Ball was unfortunately the odd ball out. Get it? Haha. <laughs> now, hopefully my opponent maybe doesn't knock out my Barrel this turn. Lucario, unfortunately, does, though. Lucario knocks me out. I could maybe get a Choice Belt knockout. Okay, they are going to Marnie me, which actually I don't mind because our hand, while it was decent, we needed, like, a supporter to go with it. So, not a, not a, not too concerned about that. And, and look at that. Marnie right into a Cynthia. I do have Rhyhon, but I can't play it. Okay, never mind. We'll Cynthia then, obviously. All right, so Lamba Barrel, we hardly knew you. Okay. Let's try to get this KO. If I get a Choice Belt, this Lucario gets rip bozoed into... Oh my god, the Barrel top deck. Now, do I really get rid of Ryan here to get a nice hand? You know, Cynthia for 8 is too tempting. You know, I gotta do it. It's just too good. Too good. We gotta do a Cynthia for 8. I actually kind of have to. I need to get this Choice Belt. No Choice Belt. Oh, we got it. Nice. Boop. You're dead, buddy. Put that there. And we got Rare Candy Cinderace for next turn, too, which is ballin'. All right, let's go. The knockout. Let's get it. Actually, Urshifu cannot KO my Cinderace in return. Nice. Good prizes. Another boss is good because I actually might try to hide this turn. The Urshifu can't KO me. I mean, they could Rapid Flow my Manaphy this turn with a boss, which would suck. They're already down a boss, though. And nope, they don't have it. So... They... 
Who's grappling? But why do you bleed two? No, that is... That's... That's... Oh, my God. I think I have another air balloon in the deck. Okay. I don't know why my opponent plays two scrappers, but we are in a, the reality where my opponent does play two scrappers. I actually want to get a quick ball or an ultra ball here so I can basin. I can't attack just yet. To be fair, though, if I don't play an energy down, then I don't have to worry about Lucario knocking me out. No, never mind. They're going to have another boss anyways. Look at that. They really don't want my barrel lift. I can't believe they had that. That is so annoying. I guess I just Marnie and... I see you, PDCGO. I see you. You're just... Thank you for being very kind to me today. Thank you, PDCGO, for being very kind to me today. Do I have boss? Honestly, I don't mind going after Urshifu, but I don't have a knockout, do I? No, we're only doing two hun no, okay. Just I don't have a knock on Lucario. So might as well scale the Crobat then. Fine. We can draw one card here before we scoop up net. And there's Ultra Ball. Okay. So not the big barrel. Aha, uh, joke's on you. Thank you for that boss. I guess that boss actually helps us though, because I mean, hey, now we have a fresh attack. Alright, let's see what we got here off the prizes. There we go. And what's the bottom card? I smell it. Okay, that's pretty solid. All right, that's annoying that they actually, for some reason, played double Scrapper, which kind of disrupted my play there, because I would have been able to kill the Urshifu, which I think I would have gone after. But, yeah, they just mentioned Zap, though, so now I can just win that way. There's a Research. My opponent will be able to knock me out with Aura Star here if they can find the V-Star. But if they do that, then I'm doing 210. And I ever one-shot Lucario. They did find it, too, so... Oh, my God, the future deck Lucario. How much are they doing with Aura Star? Or how much can I do with Cinderace next turn, theoretically? Doing 210, single string energy, 230. Ah, I can only do 260. So I cannot one shot Lucario next turn, but that's fine. I can one shot the Zapdos. I think I just have game in hand then, right? Yeah, I just have game actually. Okay, then never mind. We have game. We would have KO'd the Urshifu too, right? No, we wouldn't have. Okay, well, thank you for bending Zapdos. I just win this way. All right, that works for me, Chief. Not gonna lie, it was a bit of a crazy game. <laughs> I can't believe my opponent had the double scrapper like that. But, you know, that's Kubernetes top deck saved our bots. But yeah, we just go boss, Galarian, Zapdos. And then... Fireball shot. For the win. I mean, even if we weren't winning there, I mean, we had another Cinderace in play, you know. We were still really... We were in a great spot, even if we had thing. We had Manaphys. The Urshfu wasn't really that much of a threat. Urshfu can't even one-shot Cinderace with Gale Thrust if we don't base into it. So, pretty good stuff. Okay, well, would you look at that? We just ran into the same person we played against in that first game there with the Charizard Entei deck. All right, I guess the SPC Joe do be kind of dry today. I'm recording this on Easter, though. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know. I'm surprised I ran into the same person again. Going for the rematch. All right, hopefully this rematch goes well. I mean, we won the first game, so I'm sure it will. But I guess I guess we're doing a rematch. I guess this is how it is. Not many people might be on PDC Joe today. I guess it's just kind of how the boat floats. Now we draw an extra card. Okay, not bad. Okay, that's decent. Okay, what we'll do... We have to get rid of that. Get rid of... She... Honestly, a tough decision. I want to get Score Bunny here. I guess I can Rod Research. Right, we'll get rid of the Cinderace, whatever. I guess Rod it back. Yeah, we got mostly everything in the deck, which is good. All right, we did prize an energy, though. That's fine. But I get, I get energy down here on Score Bunny, which is nice. I could have gone rid of the fire, obviously, and then... But the problem is I can't play single strike energy on Score Bunny. So, you kind of see why I just went for the fire play. I'm not, not too concerned. Again, we play one copy of Urn of Vitality, so... No biggie. And we see a quick ball getting played. Hopefully my opponent is not KOing with Entei this turn. Because they open up a Charizard, the odds they get an Entei knockout can be in my opponent's favor, so... It's a little scary. Well, there's Tool Jammer. Now my Bidoof is stuck until I get net, but they don't have much else. Okay, cool. Why did I get rid of Cinderace? I actually top-decked the rare candy. Okay. That's annoying. I'm gonna Bruno for four. And I uh, still got rare candy Cinderace. Works for me. Spread the energy out. Works for me, Chief. Nice. Okay. I almost didn't want to get rid of Bidoof there, but uh, I think Bibarel's gonna be safe this turn. I mean, hopefully Bibarel's safe, and I'm not gonna regret my decision here, but we'll see. Now if my opponent has to play a judge this turn, they can't really do that because I have literally no cards in the hand. I don't know. I probably should have. Actually, you know what? I probably could have just... I maybe could have gone to the Hound Hour then. I don't know. Actually, it might have been a bad idea not to get the Bidoof down, but I'm in top deck mode anyways. It doesn't really matter. It's basically just whether or not if my opponent gets it, they get it. They have no energy to discard at the moment. So there's a chance. And if they play a rope, I'll just give them Hound Hour. No big deal. If they have it. They have it. If they do knock me out and I don't draw like a Cynthia. If I could draw a Cynthia though, that'd be freaking fantastic. 
I'm pretty sure they won't kill my barrel. I think my boy is safe. We'll see, though. I think the barrel's safe. All right, let's see if they have anything here. Oh, okay. That's fine. Entei would... I mean, even if they go Entei, they'd have to get a lot to knock me out at this point. I think we're safe. And actually, this kind of helps me. and get the first stack on them. Works for me. <laughs> works for me, Chief. That works for me. Hey, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good hit. Okay, nice. Fireball shot. No knockout, but now this Charizard is now heavily damaged. We're still not going to get attacked. I have boss in hand, too, so I could maybe go after a bit barrel next turn. I don't know. We'll see. We're in a pretty good spot right now, I want to say, though. That boss kind of helped, and then I just research anyways. PC just like, yeah, here you go, research. And they lose their nine tails. Nice. All right, let's see if they can knock me out here. There is a chance they could. If they do have the energy switch basin combo, they could, but they have no fire in the discard. Oh, now they do. Well, actually, no, this is their first attachment for turn, right? I'm not going crazy. Attach fire energy to Charizard. Okay, it is their first attachment. Okay, so yeah, okay, they do have... They actually won't be able to kill me with Charizard. They can go into Entei, though. Which could be a problem. But I am doing 200 damage. I need a Choice Belt to go Entei. Right? Yeah, I need a Choice Belt not go Entei. If they are able to go into Entei this turn. They need to get a Switch and a Choice Belt. Or a Switch and E-Switch. Which E-Switch would get them there? I don't even think they have Ninetales left. Not, benching Vulpix might not matter. I like my opponent's deck, though. You know what? If we're going to play against the same person twice, I'd probably rather this. To be honest, it's a cool deck. Rod's a good top deck. Okay, so we can just go get Cinderace here. And then obviously just kind of swap between the two. Take this KO. Probably, honestly, I'd prefer to not use the, uh... Not use the, uh... The thing. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I probably prefer not to use the, uh... Base, the single strike energy, but it's not a big deal. The barrel for one. I might play Marnie here, but I don't know. I kind of want to keep the rod in my hand. Nice. That's a good... That's a good card. I can another... Boon it down. I'm going to keep the rod for next turn so I can get Cinderace back. And they'll just pop them with a fireball shot. And they'll take our prizes. Which we are going to get. Urn is amazing. Ultraball is also fantastic. Okay. So hopefully what we can do now is knock out this Entei with Choice Belt. If they don't get a Tool Jammer on. If they do get Jammer though. I might be able to go Hound Dower or Hound Doom into a double single strike energy. Maybe with like an attachment. I mean it's asking for a lot. But you never know. It could happen. But yeah, if not, then they don't get a jammer on. I'll just pop the Entei, hopefully, with a choice belt if we can find it. We'll see how it goes. Maybe if I get Raihan or something, that could help me out. But yeah, I mean, this matchup is basically just playing out the way it's supposed to. I mean, these these V, V-Star decks, V-Max decks, pretty solid for Cinderace. As long as you don't draw, like, an absolute potato, you can see why they're good. Oh, there's a Judge. Okay, that's a little annoying. We do lose the urn. We lose the rod. Not great, but it's not bad because we get a new hand anyways, which... Give me the choice belt. All right, that works for me. And the urn. Actually, this hand is basically identical, except we're missing the rod. We just swapped rod with choice belt, which might be better. So I'll take it. No, no tool jammer. So this Entei will get slain. So 180, they knock me out again. That's 210. So we can definitely maybe just win by bossing the other Charizard at some point. And they just can see. <laughs> we'll take it. I mean, the same person twice, but what can you do? Cinderace is just on fire today. I'm not going to lie. Pretty lit. Cinderace is just absolutely on fire today. I'm liking it. Oh, going first again. Now, this time we're up against Single Strike, it looks like. I mean, hopefully. Single Strike's not bad. Umbreon could be annoying, but whatever. All right, good hand. I can get Snorlax here, and that's all that matters. Snorlax down. I don't know if I want to retreat Score Bunny or play Balloon. I'll probably just Balloon it. I don't know. I kind of want to keep the energy on, just in case we get a turn to attack Peko. Okay. Yeah, I'll play the Balloon. It's fine. Just Choice Belt. the Oddball out here. Hopefully Snorlax is in the deck. Thank you. It probably has a score bunny. We got Cinderace for boo. Rare Candy's all there. The energy's in the deck. Okay, cool. I can retreat. And Gorman dies. Get a nice big hand, hopefully. Here we get. Eh, it's honestly not great. No Rare Candy to go with it. We can reboot, though, and then do another Gorman dies. And then keep the hand. I guess that's not bad. Okay, they got the Battle VIP pass. That's fine. Are they playing Gengar, then? Or is it just Urshifu? Willfish. What? That's annoying, but not bad. I guess. There's Capture G on the Morpeko. Okay, we're not going to get attacked this turn, I guess. Oh, we we're never going to get attacked anyway. It's okay, they do play Urshifu. I don't like if they play Umbreon. I don't know. Are they play Umbreon? I don't even know. I'm going to go into Cool Fish. Okay, that's whatever. All right. Would you be barrel? Okay, so. Here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna get rid of Raihan and Babero. That sucks. I don't really like get rid of Raihan, to be honest, but I grab her boot. I'm very sure we're safe next turn. Getting that down could be relevant in case they, like, I don't know, knock me out somehow with, like, an insane play. Like a rod. Sure. Not a fan of wasting that now, but I'm gonna have to because I want to make sure that I am drawing cards with Gorman dice. What do we get here? Okay. Not special, but whatever. I get this net at some point. Net would be pretty good so I can recover the Snorlax. And I can start attacking. Make sure I'm attacking first. Can be relevant. It's good thing I have an Urshu. If they actually put that into a VMAX, that could be really good for us. If that ever turns into a VMAX, that's amazing. That'll be an easy knockout for Fireball Shot in the late game, potentially, which could be pretty good to help us win the game. Because it could be hard to actually take out all these more Pekos and stuff every single turn, which is what I'm concerned about. All right, what do we top deck? Football's good. I can get rid of Houndoom. Get another Score Bunny. Net's in there. I can honestly just kind of keep holding the hand for now. I don't really want to get rid of it anyways, because, I mean, I got... I mean, I got the Cynthia, right? So, keep Gormandizing, and let's get a Marnie. No, we got more stuff, though. We're still vibing. We still got some stuff to work with. This is good. We're just basically setting up a Snorlax, which is all I really want to do. In fact, you know what? When they kill Snorlax, Cinderace is going to be doing a lot of damage. And maybe I can knock out that Urshfu with a boss. If I can find a boss play to knock that out. With, so I can knock it out with Cinderace. But they also might have the Houndoom to it, so it can go below HP. Okay, net here would be fantastic. If I can net this turn, that'd be great. No, we get a barrel, though. I'm gonna do this, then. I'm gonna quick ball away. I don't wanna put the fire on the score, buddy, but... Throw more cards with Snorlax. I'll get rid of research, whatever. It is what it is. I get Bidoof. And then go here, go here, Evo Incense. I should have another Reboot in the deck. Yes, I do. And then we're going to Gormandize. We got Cynthia for next turn, and we're chilling. All right, Gormandize. If I get net now, I'm going to be kind of sad. It's going to be a net, isn't it? No. Nope. Ooh, double rare candy. Not great, actually. Once again, we get another research, and I can't play it. It's good Marnie me, though. I was hoping to get a boss, right? Because I can knock out that single strike Urshifu with uh, Cinderace, which would have been pretty good to do. Kind of sucks. Again, this matchup might be tough. How much HP do they have? Actually, 50? Hmm. I guess I have to go Cinderace. All right, we'll see if we top deck here. Another Ultra Ball. It's not great. Huh. I guess we'll get rid of Research. I don't want to lose any other card in my hand, so we'll do that. Grab another Cinderace. So I can put that on. Do that. <laughs> and then Cynthia. Cynthia for six. I guess I could have went with Barrel there to try to get something. Ooh, that was a pretty bad Cynthia. Okay, that's not great. I'm going to have to just go in there with Cinderace. Yeah, that, was, that was a pretty rough Cynthia. <laughs> this hand's not a deal. Knock him out here, 200 damage. They'll knock me out, and then I can do some things. I'll see what our prize is. Bidoof again? Okay, sure. Our hand is pretty big. Honestly, I don't hate getting Marnied here, because, like, the hand's just kind of unplayable anyways, so. Ooh, Tower. I can play that, actually. That could be I could play the Tower to get rid of Cinderace or Hound Hour. Okay, that could be pretty good. Play the tower and then use it for extra draw support. That's not bad. How much HP do we have? 110? You know, they can knock me out. They have an energy. If I can kill their Marpeko, though, then we might be okay. They only have one Hound in play, and this other Marpeko won't knock me out. So actually, it's not a big deal. Okay, that's fine. As long as we can take a few prizes with Cinderace. This is why I kept the Air Balloon on, because I figured we might need to use a pivot, potentially, the way this is going. I do want to kill. Maybe if I get a boss, I'd still go after this. Another energy. It's not great. Okay. Well, Rod. We'll do both. Back these two. We'll get back one energy. Power. Man, it has to be done. Gave me more of the same. Oh my god. Rip, bro. No. Okay. Hopefully we don't get KO'd here. I don't think we can. Judging from my opponent's setup, we'll be okay. Oh my god. Another beat. If I can retreat next turn though and then go net into the knockout, so it's not that bad. Not looking good. We are starting to kind of fall a little bit. We just, we've just been having some weak follow-ups from our, like, early turns there, which is kind of killing us. I really want to boss that Urshifu and knock it out. I would love to get a boss. I kind of just want to, well, if I get Marnied, I don't have the net play anymore, so. Getting Marnied might not even be ideal anymore, because then I'll lose my net, potentially, unless I can draw back into it. Which I guess could happen, judging from the fact that I can just shuffle my deck or something, but we'll see. 
I can't use another tower, though, on Cinderace. I'm not going to do that. Can't afford to lose any more Cinderaces. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. If I can draw a Hound Dower or Urn, I could do that. Or Single Strike Energy. I can do the tower, which I will prefer to do. I can't draw Single Strike. I got to draw Urn then. Yeah, okay. I can't draw the Energy. Okay, what do they got? Another Urshifu? Sure. More Pokemon to knock out. Yay. I could also knock out Marpeko if I really wanted to. I might have to just actually hide this turn behind a Bidoof because, like, I don't have... I mean, we just got to risk a boss, I guess. I don't have another score bunny. I haven't played a boss yet, though. I don't like those odds. Please draw a good card. <laughs> the rare candy. I don't need that. I can't play tower. Okay, this is... I have all four rare candies in my hand. Oh, my God. That is ridiculous. Not good. <laughs> this is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. If they have a boss knockout, I'm going to be pretty tilted. They might have it. They have tower to work with. I can't find a basin either. And it's just... We just have literally just a bunch of unplayable cards. Like, if I had a score bunny in play, this would have been perfect, right? I got Cinderace for a candy, but... My god, our hand is bad. I'm My opponent has somehow not marnied me either, which is pretty annoying. Can I actually kill Marpeko with Hound Hour if I can find it? If they catch to it again. Uh, they got the VMAX. That's fine. Again, easy knockout with Cinderace in the late game. Not a big deal. No biggie. Just please don't have a boss. They got a four-card hand. Do they have a boss's order? Even if they do boss me, I think we can still win, but it's just going to feel so bad. Especially if I keep drawing mush. If I keep drawing poorly, then it's just going to feel even worse. This is pretty rough. Okay, nice. Urshru goes below 300 HP, which is really nice. Okay. Go boss. Nice. Might the sacrifice of a barrel. If I got a boss, though, I can kill the baby Urshifu. Okay, thank heavens we drew a Marnie. Oh my god. There we go. I mean, all the candies go to the bottom of the deck, but we can still shuffle. There we go. It's a bit better. To be fair, I don't really want to want quick ball with anything away. I guess I can... I don't want to get the energy. Honestly, the, uh, the oddball out has to be boss. It is what it is. We still have the other boss in the deck, so it's fine. No big deal. Make sure we get that down. Get the basin in play. Get rid of that. They probably get another stadium next turn anyways. A little bit barrel. Nice. Do this actually before they do anything else, and then we'll take a knockout. Fireball shot for the knockout. 260 damage. Get slain. We're still on par to winning the game at this point. The way this is shaping out to be. We're still on par. Actually, yeah, we're still on par to winning. So, that's good. Now, how much? 290 HP. They knock me out. I'm doing, what, 270 damage? Okay, if I can get another single strike on, I guess I could kill this with a boss. But I don't think that's going to happen. We'll just kill the Quillfish and then kill the Urshfu. I think we should win regardless. If I can just set up boss for a game, I think we'll have... I think we'll have this in the bag. I think we'll have it in the bag. Cramomatic. Oh, no. Please don't flip heads. Thank you. Oh. We had a Bruno. It's annoying. And there's the counter stadium. That's fine. No big deal. They do play Umbreon. Okay, that's fine. I don't think Umbreon matters anymore at this point. I keep... I can just up two potential Cinderaces. We're fine. Again, I have all my rare candies in the deck and 12 cards left, so it's not going to be too hard to get a rare candy Cinderace. Oh, they don't knock me out. What? What? Okay, I just, like, was 100% certain they were... I was dead there, but I guess not. And you know what? That is a miracle, because now we keep this thing in play. And that's good. I don't believe they did knock me out. I saw my net, right? Okay, I can probably bench Manaphy and draw some more cards. It's fine. I can even Tower Bruno away if I really wanted to. I don't really know if I need any more. There's the boss. Okay. Just knock him out and then go boss next turn for a game. Can I play Basin? Okay, that's fine. Draw another card with the barrel. I can try to just go boss next turn. Another candy. Alright, boom. We'll knock him out. Sure. I don't really care. Then I can just go boss for a game if they don't Marnie me. If they do Marnie me, I got double barrel. I only have seven cards left, so should be bad. And there's another Marnie. Maybe I should have towered away Bruno before I went the Basin there. They might get another tower in play anyways, so you never know. Maybe I should have saved the Basin, but at the same time, I want to play cards with my hand in case they do Marnie me and I need to try to, like, dig for boss or something. You can knock about the Hound Dupe if they want, but they have to Marnie me into a bad hand this turn. Stop me, and they do have another tower. Okay, that's fine, though. That does mean I can use a discard something like a Hound Hour if I have it. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, I should be able to win here. We had a few turns where we kind of fell back, but it looks like we're still going to get back into it. 
and take a dub against my opponent's interesting single strike Urshifu deck. They do have Umbreon to work with, but Umbreon doesn't matter. When I have two Cinderace in play, the Umbreon is no longer relevant. Bruno, no Marnie, and that is GG's, unless they play Fana Waves and Crushing Hammer. Which I doubt they do. That should be GG's. So, I think we got him. Hopefully. Should just be able to go boss, knock out the uh, Urshifu. The Urshifu V, or the Umbreon works too. Unless they get, I guess they could go double Urshifu, I guess, which would prevent, they could go double Urshifu, uh, yeah, double Urshifu plus Umbreon VMAX, but the fact they just failed even win sense tells me that they don't have it. They may not see the boss coming because I did lose a boss with that. I did discard a boss. Maybe they don't expect the second boss out of me, so. I don't know, man. Would be a thing. Are they roaring twice? Or I could knock him out with friggin' score bunny if I wanted to to keep Cinderace alive. Okay. I must just have 270. Okay. Oh, they do have the Umbreon. They actually just go after score bunny. All right, well, now I have two Cinderace in play no matter what, which guarantees it. So they have to get triple Urshifu, but even then, I think I still have game on this VMAX. Right? They knock me out. 180, 210, 240, 270. I could just knock out the VMAX if I wanted to. But to play it safe, we're going after that Urshifu V. Because I'm not risking... I mean, I know... I am I just don't want to risk not doing the math right. Yeah, we had a knockout anyways, but look. I, I'm I'm playing it safe. I'm doing the safe route. But anyways, there you go. Single Strike Cinderace. Uh, pretty insane match there, but we got him in the end, thankfully. And we're able to kind of accomplish things. Thanks for that Marnie top deck. I think it's what really saved us. That's going to be it for me, guys, on the Single Strike Cinderace deck. Again, guys, one of the hottest stage 2 decks you can play right now. And this deck was actually pretty solid overall. I will say that... Um, after playing the deck, I don't know what I would cut for anything. I don't know if the Houndoom was honestly really necessary. We barely used it. I don't think we used it once, so I think you could, could just cut the Houndoom out of the deck for more consistency, like a few more draw cards. You could even add like another fire. I think another energy would be pretty solid in here too. Like an extra fire wouldn't be bad. If you cut the Houndoom, you can cut the urn, but I just really like having the ability to push that extra 20 damage, especially against like V Pokemon with Capon. Like I just think that the Houndoom still has benefits in the deck, but I definitely think it is cuttable for like an extra card if you wanted to. But overall, this deck is actually pretty strong and pretty solid. As you guys can see, we were putting up pretty well against those V, those big V and V star decks. And that is what it's all about with single strikes and race. So if you guys enjoyed today's PCG video, leave a like on the video if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, help me over reaching 20, 7,000 subscribers. Make sure to check out card comment down below. Use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord. I'm going to be doing a really cool stream tonight where I'm actually going to be opening up a Fusion Strike, a booster box. And every time I win a game, I'm opening up two packs from the booster box. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all have a, a good rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later.